That was insane in the membrane. Hey, look, that's weird, dude, as a, a ship's going by. See, look. And, look, on top of the towers, they could also be actually outfitting certain crafts to actually uh, hit areas with beams as well. And it's the effect of, of overlaying multiple beams. You can get even more dynamic and explosive effects. It's like also like you'd also think of it this way. At any time, one of their satellites that's outfitted with some kind of beam technology, freaking can, um, uh, basically, uh, also interplay. You know what I'm saying? So you got, you got the towers, you got the satellites, you also got crafts outfitted. You also have uh, these uh, harp machines, which are their freaking ionosphere. Freaking, uh, they bounce away microwaves off the ionosphere. You know what I'm saying? And so they can basically hit and bounce off the top of the freaking atmosphere. Freaking these beams, these waves back down. But. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, ways that uh, they're applying the freaking death from above. You know, between the chemtrails, them spraying freaking uh, stuff on us. Freaking, it's like, uh, also, yeah, that look, they, they don't give us full disclosure on the capabilities of some of these uh, stuff, this technology. It's like, why are they spending so much money on this sort of thing? And there's always some kind of ulterior motive for everything they say that, oh, it's because we to make communication better. Oh, it's so we can see what everything's going on everywhere and make sure that, like, look, that uh, no one's uh, trying to uh, get us. We're keeping you safe. Uh, but on the, on the other hand, they're also freaking, you know, uh, intelligence gathering. And also, you know, freaking uh, using them in nefarious ways that we, uh, uh, do, that are, uh, that we haven't had uh, informed consent or full disclosure about. And it's like, who are you going to call anyway? Ghostbusters? Who are you going to do? Write your congressman? Like, that's going to do anything. Hey, sir, stop, stop, uh, you know, sending up spy satellites because we don't like it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you, uh, take a flying F off cliff, ma'am. Uh, Karen, basically, uh, but, you know, the patented wise, man, freaking Dave, uh, you know, they wanted to, like, for instance, there's something called the flea bomb, where they wanted to take a bunch of these, uh, infected fleas, because fleas, uh, can spread certain kinds of diseases and create like a freaking uh and create like a you know pandemic of sorts freaking uh they wanted to uh outfit you know a plane and it was basically they you could they would drop howdy they would uh drop a freaking um this over you know an enemy population you know freaking so you're using bugs and a bioweapon like infected bugs freaking uh and also you know there was just the, the guy from the German freaking Nazi paperclip thing he freaking he invented freaking Lyme's disease and then he freaking like released it into the wild and that's where our the whole Lyme disease thing comes from it was actually from Nazi experiments and these guys were let work over here and and dude they were they were like look these people were brainwashed to hate us and the dude you know they gave him his own lab and he freaking you know dropped a bomb you dropped the bomb on me the, the gay bomb on me and there's a there's another kind of death from above kind of a freaking 
uh, operation was the, the gay bomb, where they literally wanted to spray freaking these like uh, gay chemicals freaking over an enemy population to freaking weaken their uh, resolve and resistance by uh, making them freaking turn effeminate. I mean, for instance, man, uh, that was that's called the halitosis bomb. That's a real freaking patent. I seen it. Freaking, and what's funny is, you know, you got Dow Chemical here in Michigan, okay? And there was, I used to stay out in Montrose, and there was freaking a train going by one day. And I was uh, out there crossing the railroad tracks, and I seen these, these vats uh, that, and they had, they were labeled STYX. That's the River Styx, right? Freaking, that's, uh, uh, freaking, um, uh, the, the supposedly the river you got to cross when you go into the underworld into Hades you know what I'm saying and come to find out you know and there was like there was a whole bunch of them went by and I thought ah, you know what I'm saying that's weird that's interesting and the, the lady out there told me that yeah they call that the death train because it's on its way up to uh, Dow Chemical and it takes all the chemicals up there and I mean, freaking, what's crazy, you know, freaking, they're partly responsible for the uh, stuff called Agent Orange, okay? And freaking, my grandma used to tell me that they used to test that stuff on uh, Indian reservations. And the kids would come out with freaking having like uh, bent feet and uh, four fingers. Like, look, they would be not properly developed. Freaking, uh. And, you know, in Vietnam, they were testing out this Agent Orange chemical that, uh, it, it would kill all the foliage, so it would allow the freaking the air support, uh, visual on different enemy whereabouts, or their freaking oh, dude, that looks like a sky snake right there. Freaking uh, anyway, but they were also using it indiscriminately on the soldiers, and the enemy and you know it freaking caused a lot of health freaking like it uh messed your health up like uh really bad freaking my grandpa joe for instance had agent orange exposure really bad and it, yeah, it was uh that's the same company you know that makes freaking basically roundup you know what i'm saying freaking uh so freaking it's the same stuff that did all this stuff back in the day they just put some water in it weakened it a little bit and pushed it back out on us freaking you know what I'm saying but already knowing that it was freaking uh, it's not freaking safe I mean yeah dude you know freaking um, yeah, man, it's crazy out here. There's a lot of a lot of different stuff going on at play all at once. I mean, but yeah, there, there was a. Uh, I mean, there was one where there's a video where it showed Prince. He was getting interviewed, and he was like, "You know, on them really hot days in the hood," or he goes, "You'd see him spray those lines up in the sky," and he goes, "Then all of a sudden, all." He'd be like, there'd be like eight or nine shootings. So, I mean, look, that's like, uh, that's kind of like a form of like, if you just think on that level of the gay bomb, if they can drop some kind of fucking like rage, lunacy, freaking chemicals on people, freaking, and there was this freaking, uh, they've ex did ha ha they have done experiments like that where they freaking like, gave heavy doses of LSD to whole freaking towns over, uh, I think this happened in France, freaking, and, uh, you know, that's definitely freaking, that's like kind of, ear, it's, it, basically, dude, it's made out of ergot, which is a freaking fungal kind of, uh, bacterial freaking, or it's a bacterial, or some kind of freaking disease that attacks freaking grains, okay? And 
it can cause like a, a reaction in people of hallucination, like a real, and, and it also freaking actually gives you symptoms of kind of like black skin. It kind of looks like crocodile. You have black skin on the underside of your toes and on your fingers first. So severe poisoning yeah, can lead to death. I mean, and that was also in kind of in that freaking that it was kind of uh, given a predictive programming in that uh, what was that man freaking that Batman with the scarecrow in it, where he dosed their water with freaking uh, uh, some kind of strong hallucinogen. I mean, and for sure, man, I I think I heard a, a report of them testing some kind of freaking, whoa, he was close, some kind of laser beam where they shot some kind of vehicle from flying up in the air and it was a laser and it freaking, I mean, that's freaking death from above for sure. With all the drone technology and stuff freaking now, freaking... But, you know, controlling the weather is also could be considered a form of death from above because, look, if you can make some of these crops fail or if you can cause a flood in an area, you can literally wipe, wipe some, or look, avalanche of snow, freaking, look, uh, rivers to swell. Look, there's that round thing popping up again. I mean, nuts, dude. This is crazy right here. There's like these five little lights going on right there five or six of them looks really strange it's like there's a bunch more like what is that cloud brightening oh my gosh dude there's another one right there two more down there it's really weird oh yeah the snow is coming in too pretty heavy yeah, look at all them sunbeams. Yeah, man, I got a lot of footage to upload, man. Look, there goes the heart. Heart cloud. Nice. Yeah, so, I, I mean, look, dude, I don't know if stuff like this, if that's actually a cloaked atmosphere. East, man. Get like, look. kind of freaking government craft maybe freaking that's cloaking technology i'm not freaking sure but look it's still there freaking pretty much in the same spot dude man dude man it's getting it would temp just dropped big time and it got a lot darker oh, yeah dude that is really strange There's a little triangle popping up. Yeah, dude. Wow. I'm gonna have to cut this one off, man. I'm gonna run. Running out of freaking. Running out of tape. Oh my gosh, dude.